Thanks for staying with us. Now, today, more than 1.1 billion girls are poised to take on the future. Every day, girls are breaking boundaries and barriers to lead and foster a safer, healthier, and more prosperous world for all. They are tackling issues like child marriage, education inequality, violence, climate justice, and in equitable, inequitable access to health care. Girls are pro proving that they are unstoppable. Now today, no matter where a girl lives, she's at risk of encountering violence in every space in the classroom, at home and in her community. Just like ve the very sad story that we talked about, the 10-year-old girl that was gang raped in Kaduna State, and uh, that's to mention a few. To have an education and a future, all hands must be on deck in safeguarding the life of the girl child. Now, please let us hear what you have to say about the girl child. And remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Wayshow Africa One with the hashtag Wayshow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 8038463. I think we'll just quickly do um, two things, right? Um, what would it mean for you, EC, safeguarding the future of the girl child? Before I bring in our guest. For me, the most important thing is to empower them from okay. an early age and build their confidence that they don't have to rely on a man or that they are, they are enough, you know. So it's very important that the girl child knows her worth from the get-go and she can be self-reliant. Because we have, I have seen individuals, you know, as an educator, I've seen young girls, mm -hmm. they and time and time again, not being able to express themselves, not being able to, you know, stand on their own because they feel that they are not enough. Mm -hmm. So empowering the girls, building their confidence and ensuring that they can stand on their own is, for me, the key Absolutely. thing to do for All right, child. so Tony Indidi Taiwojo is, um, she is the CEO and the founder of Stop the Abuse Against Women and um, Children Foundation, an organization that believes every child and woman is a star and therefore must be protected. And she's joined us via Zoom this evening. Thank you so much for joining us, Toyin. Are you there? Yes, I am here. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, so it's the International Day for the Girl Child. Um, this is one conversation that I think every year, you know, we always talk about, and all year round actually, not one day in the year, all year round we always talk about it. Different organizations come out to try to see how they can continue to, um, what's it called, talk about issues that, you know, that affects the girl child. And when I was reading about, you know, um, this, uh, the, the, the research from UNICEF, there's been tremendous progress, right? Tremendous progress, but it's still not enough. It's still not enough. We still have a lot of work to do. You know, in this situation, you know, especially, you know, in some remote areas when it comes to the girl child. Mm -hmm. So in your, in your assessment, how far are we faring? Let me bring it home to Nigeria. How far are we faring in terms of preserving the future of the girl child? Um, as far as I know, we are still lagging behind. The girl child in Nigeria is still an endangered. Because um, some people still believe that um, a girl child should um, not get an education, should not have a voice. And um, if you look at out of girl children statistics in the country, it is still very huge compared to our other African countries and, and, and other places in the world. The girl child in Nigeria, um, yeah, we have made tiny steps, but it is not yet tremendous progress we still need to do more. So when you say we need to do more, by your definition, what does yes. more mean? 
Yes, we still need to, in my own definition, I feel, I believe that we still need to um, do more to protect the girl child. We are coming from a long um, history of abuse of the girl child, a long history of undermining the girl child power. Now we are at a place where um, females all over the world are making giant strides. I think we're having a bit of a challenge with her. You were taking down notes, you know, with, yes. <laughs> when she was talking. Mm -hmm. You know, what, 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 what's your... What I, mm -hmm. um, what I was able to pick from that was that um, she talked about the fact that the girl child still has a long way to go. We still have a long way to go mm -hmm. as a country mm -hmm. or um, uh, a state to um, groom our girl yeah. child. I believe, I, I totally agree with her. Why? Because, mm -hmm. especially in the North, I took a story yesterday on you know, children in Hisper where the girls are not allowed to carry phones or <laughs> are not allowed to use the internet. Mm. In this day and age, we've gone past jet age. It's a digital world right now. So we can't have a situation whereby the girls are not exposed to that environment mm. because of un-Islamic um, beliefs or that they're being exposed to un-Islamic mm -hmm. um, things. So it's essential that the girl child is given every tool to work in this day and age. So that's why I was asking about practicality. You know, mm -hmm. when you say, because for me, I don't like to have a blanket statement like, okay, we need to do more. Do more. When how we say, do we need yes, to do more? When we say more, how do we break down more? What would more mean? So for instance, I, don't, I think we have uh, Mrs. Ojo back. For, uh, Mrs. Ojo, if you can hear me. For instance, Stephanie Nylas, right? Yes. In, in, in a bid to do more, she did a movie called Dry. Mm -hmm. And that movie took um, the topic of, uh, what's it called? Um, child marriage in the light of how women get... Um, uh, VVF. VVF. Yes. Physical, yes. Like, Fistula. Fistula. Yes. VVF. And she took on that. Um, this thing. It did not end at the movie. Yes. It went further to her bringing in doctors to come into Nigeria to perform free surgeries for thousands of girls. Oh my God. That was one movie. Mm -hmm. Recently, Moabudu mm -hmm. was shining the light on prostitutions, girl child trafficking. Olotere, mm -hmm. the movie is on Netflix. Mm -hmm. That is doing more. So if I say, we, when we say we want to do more, how, how exactly we are we supposed to position it? I am in the media. What am I supposed to be doing? You are in the educational sector. What are you supposed to be doing? Mm -hmm. That is the kind of definition I am asking. Uh, Mrs. Ojo, if you are there, can you listen? I, I, can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right, ma'am. <laughs> we all um, have a part to play. And um, like you said, something in the media, what is the more that he can do or she can do. You know, over time, we gloss over the issue of the abuse of children, especially the girl child. Yeah. And when a reporter, because of sensibilities of the, the people, we want to report a case of, for instance, rape. Most times they don't want to call it for what it is, rape or sexual defilement. Mm -hmm. They want to say, oh, um, an abuser um, had his way with an underage girl. Hmm. This doesn't bring the truth home. As far as I'm concerned, it makes um, it makes it feel as if what um, the child has undergone or has um, passed through is something not so um, um, tangible. That's the right word. Something concrete. Or something evil, because that is what it is. But you say you use the right word, and this child has been raped or has been sexually defiled. I think that's a way of doing more. Uh, we talk about um, our, our government, the political will to implement the laws that protect the, ch the girl child. When we are talking about um, the girl child, especially when it comes to our laws, we tend to, the government tends to shy away because 
We do not want to affect the sensibilities of religious bodies, especially in a country where some parts of the country believe that believe in child marriages. It is um, religiously approved. Now, these are the things that actually undermine the power of the girl child. The law, the child rights law has consistently said and other laws that a child is someone less than 18 years. And the child rights law said a child less than 18 years cannot get married. If we have a law that is saying that categorically, why is our government not coming out in full force to say this? That if a child who is less than 15 years gets married, the um, that is moral and both, and is an abuse, the sexual abuse, the child abuse. Furthermore, we have um, people in the, we have people who actually go out of the way to abuse these children and they do not get persecuted. We are not doing enough. When people who are arrested are given a pass in the hand and let us be hooked easily. Absolutely. We need to have the, the power, the laws that will make people answerable to their time. I was telling a colleague today at an, an event I just left in the celebration of the girl child. We have cases since two years ago, cases of rape that have not gotten to trial stage. All right. Thank so you. what are we doing? Absolutely. To... Those are the issues that we are definitely going to throw more light on. But I'm afraid we've run out of time. Thank you so much, Mrs. Mojo, um, for joining us this evening. We're going to take a short break. When we return, we'll continue the conversation. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.